What's up guys, welcome back to Octane Overdrive. I just got something new in the mail and let me show you what that is. It is a heavy duty compressor bypass valve from IPD and I'm gonna be installing it on my 2005 Volvo S60 today. All right, and it's actually pretty simple. This is the uh, heavy duty compressor bypass valve that comes, it's a replacement part. If you have a bad or failing CBV like I do, I would definitely recommend ordering this kit instead of just a regular replacement because it comes with a factory setting like fa um, spring for it. So I think this one's about eight pounds and then they have the blue one and this is I believe like somewhere around a 12 pound spring and I think this one's somewhere around a 14 or 15 pound spring. but. Basically, this one supports up to, I think, 12 pounds of boost. This one supports up to, like, somewhere like 20 or something like that. And this one is, like, over 25. So, I think we're going to be installing the medium one just to see. But if you check out IPD's instructions, um, which I would definitely recommend reading the instructions if you get this kit. It does say that it can cause some chattering. Somewhere down in here, it can cause chattering if uh, the spring's too stiff. So, if we've experienced that, we might go back to factory. But anyway... With this job, super simple. We're gonna need a 10 mil. This is um, gonna be for taking the three bolts. Let's see if I can find a picture for you guys. It was right there. These are gonna be for taking those three bolts off right there. Those are gonna be 10 mil. And to make things easier for ourselves, I'm gonna do a 14 millimeter and take these four bolts off so that we can get this off. And then we also have this one we need to get off and I didn't size that one, but I think that one's a 15 millimeter. All right, so I got the flashlight on now, and there we can kind of see what we're working with. So, right where my finger is, oh, there, look, I'll use my shadow to an advantage. At the tip of my shadow, that is one 10 millimeter bolt, and we have another 10 millimeter bolt right over here. Now, there's one underneath it too, but the problem is, you can see, this is the compressor bypass valve, that is the end of it, and that is a pipe right there so we're gonna attempt to do this while it's on the car uh, I'm not gonna make any promises that that's gonna happen and I'm not even gonna make any promises that we don't have to lift the car up in the air because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a wrench on the bottom of that but we're definitely not gonna be able to get a socket in so we'll probably try a 10 millimeter wrench all right so me not jacking up the car me not going crazy in depth on this lasted about five seconds you can see we got the car up in the air so I'm gonna go ahead and get the skid plate off this see what we're looking at underneath and hopefully we're gonna be able to get this off without taking the whole turbo out all right we're under the car we can see the bottom of the compressor bypass valve this is cool because we can get a pretty nice and close-up look but it looks like we're gonna be able to access these two bolts and those are the ones that I was thinking were gonna be impossible to access from the top so I'm gonna go ahead and take a crack at these with my little 10 millimeter wrench and I will get back to you with the progress all right guys, you can see I finally, finally have got all the bolts out of the little CBV and it is out. Um, it, what can I say, man, patience. So much patience and I hope you got some good tools because I have this little, tiny, little 10 millimeter wrench and this thing was not a good tool for the job. I could hardly get in here with this thing. Uh, everything gets in the way, but you gotta get those three bolts off. I don't know how I'm gonna get them back in. But uh, it's off, and it also says in the instructions that we're supposed to um, be taking the vacuum line off the top of this CBV, but I cannot get it off because the opening for the prongs is facing directly toward the engine, and you just can't get a wrench down there. But I was able to just kind of pull on this thing and get it to drop down about that low. So that should be enough to just reach my finger up in there. And hopefully... I know you guys can't really see right now. I'm trying to give you the best view, but I gotta get my hand in here. You can see I'm kind of able to wrestle that out of there. Let me just get it. There we go. All right, so there we go. There is our stock part. And you know what? Mine doesn't actually look too bad, but we're still gonna upgrade that shit. All right, here we go. Here is our upgraded CBV. And the old one, like I said, it didn't really look bad. But I am going to go ahead and pop this one up in because it does have the upgraded spring. 
Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna be able to videotape at the same guy. I mean, same time. I know you guys aren't getting that much footage, and I apologize, but it is incredibly hard to even do this job, and it's a lot harder to do it and film. All right, so it has been a long time, and you can see that I have all of them tightened down. Now I am worried because I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm worried because we still have a little bit of red showing there, and I don't think that should be showing, like at all. But I'm going to go ahead and start it up and see what happens. Now, I know all these bolts are tightened down good. It says to tighten them down hand tight. Um, they're nice and snug. They're as tight as I would risk tightening something into aluminum. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Or I'm going to go ahead and put it on the ground first. Because if I, this doesn't work, I'm not finishing it tonight. But I'm going to put it on the ground I'm going to go ahead and start it up. for a spin right now and uh it feels really good actually i noticed after i started it up that the idle was really smooth um i don't know how much this can actually affect that but if that old one was bad that would kind of be creating a vacuum leak i guess so uh it feels a lot more stable now it doesn't feel more powerful i'm not tripping um it, but it feels more stable it feels like i'm actually getting my power now so that's a really good thing i will do a pull when i get onto this road right here 